now suppose a question is asked which mentions that the height from which it is falling is very large as compared to the deflections it will not mention static deflection or maximum deflection it will just mention that the height from which it is falling is very large as compared to the deflections now question may be numerical question may be theoretical what change you should do in your approach that i am going to tell you now and it is tricky to do that in exam it can be tricky to do that if you don't know about it already if height from which it is falling is more as compared to deflections let's say delta st static deflection in this case because static deflection is even smaller than the maximum deflection so what we will do in this expression what is the highest term h h is the highest largest quantity what is the smallest quantity delta st right this term if h is very high as compared to delta st numerator will be very high denominator will be very small maybe denominator can be in decimal and it is in decimal if you write the height in centimeter or in meter obviously this small deflection elastic deformation it can be in mm even in micron that is going to be very small in decimal so since denominator in decimal numerator big quantity this whole term will become even more because denominator is in decimal so much large that one can be ignored so what you can write this whole term can be written as directly root 2h by delta st you are ignoring one with respect to it and it is such large quantity that for simplification it is such a large quantity that for simplification this one which is added to it you can see that one is added one plus root 2h by delta st this can also be ignored since it is such a large quantity that even after square root it is big enough for one so for simplicity you can ignore one also so what are you left with del st here is equal to del max if you simplify it what you will get del max is equal to root 2h del st remember this expression directly or if you don't want to remember it then remember this funda of ignoring one with respect to a bigger quantity or the root of a bigger quantity this expression can be used it can be asked directly as a question to you or maybe in a numerical it can be used